Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chisom and I'm a software engineer and YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. So let's get to the video. So recently I did a video on how, like a story time on how I got started in tech. If you've not watched that video, you should check it out. Um, so this is the part two of that video. We're going to be talking about how I built my first Android app with no experience launched it on play store all by myself and got 10,000 plus downloads as of today so if you'd like to know how all that happened watch the end of the video so once i figured out that it's android development that i wanted to learn it was very interesting but at some point i saw myself in a sort of like tutorial hell so tutorial hell is this thing where you are learning some certain kind of things and you keep watching tutorials over and over again. I wanted to put what I have learned into practice and I was like, okay, let me build my first Android application. So after like brainstorming on what to build, I figured, okay, Chisom, instead of starting from scratch to build something that you're so scared of, let me actually build upon what I've been learning in all my tutorials, right? So. The Udacity course I was taking, they actually built a language application. At that time, it was called the Miwok app. And I finished building this project and I really liked it because it exposed me to a couple of things like navigation. I mean, if you do Android, you know this is I'm talking about. And so I was like, okay, why not transform the Miwok application that you built into your own language, Igbo language? This is where the challenge started. So I'm to build an Igbo language application. I will still use the same architecture I use for the Miwok app. But since this is like a learning process for me, I decided to add a lot of things to the application. So I opened my Android Studio and I checked out the new work application um, code base that I had and I started playing around with it. I started changing a lot of things. And I didn't want it to look exactly like the app that I built in my tutorial. So what I did was that I started learning about color theory. That I used like this, the material UI design um, website on Android. So I picked like the color codes of the application and so, so many things were going on. I didn't even know what the application would look like. I needed to pick a certain kind of font, colors, how I want the, you know, the experience to be. So when I figured um, how the front of the application is going to look like, I started working on like the back end. And now this was where the issue was. This is an Igbo app, but I don't have Igbo translations. I speak Igbo, but I'm not so convinced that to speak Igbo. So this is where like I had to ask my mom, to do like translation for all those words i mean this app had like over i think a hundred plus words when i talk about when i talk about words i mean numbers alphabets and all that stuff so i wanted it to be very very related so i reached out to my mom i was like mommy you need to help me build this application i'm trying to you know do something great we stayed up all night trying to like so i'll tell her what she would say and i'll record all those stuff one by one as she's saying it so when I got all that audio, I had to transcribe it to be able to move it to the application to a particular like file extension and all those stuff. So it was very, very manual, but I mean, the whole process was very interesting. And the part where I started putting things together was when I was trying to fit in all those audio into like the different categories I had in the application and just to make it stand out and all that. So I was even thinking of more ways to make the application look good. I improved the color, I improved um, the experience of the application, how the voice plays and all that stuff. So when I was finally done, I showed my parents, I showed my family, I showed my friends and I thought, so we can actually launch this app on Play Store and people can download it and just learn about Evo. I mean, it's nothing so big, but it might help some people. So I went ahead to start looking for ways to launch this app on Play Store. So I went to Google Play Store, I read all the app regulations, categories. But it's when I even made that move to even want to launch the app on Play Store, that was when I knew that I wasn't building for compatibility. So there's this thing on Android where you have to build for screen sizes. You're building for your normal phone, you're building for an iPad, you're building for a smaller phone. I mean, all the Android versions. So this was actually the learning process in my Android development journey. And this was where I had to learn a couple of things about shipping for thousands of users that would download your application or your software on their phone. So Android Play Store sent me a couple of guidelines to make sure that my app is fit to be downloadable on people's phones. That's work on the compatibility, the screen sizes, the color, 
there is this thing where you even have to build in such a way that people that are visually impaired can even use it so certain android features that i didn't even know about are still being introduced to a couple of them and so the process took about a month because your application needs to be reviewed the application needs to make sure that it meets certain kind of standards and all that stuff so i remember the very very first day i was done with the application android usually requests for an app icon the icon that you see on your phone so i reached out to my friend he's a designer he whipped up something really lovely for me like a logo he had like a book and this ebo um hat on me that i really loved it i really loved the icon because it represented exactly what the app would be and not to mention there were certain times where i was even thinking of what i would name the app so i was thinking of so many things i was like okay let me name it Ibuamaka. Ibomaka means Ibo is beautiful and that was a very lovely name to name the application so I finally finally sent the application over to Android Play Store and I remember the day that they sent the review back to me all the boxes were green meaning that there was nothing wrong with the application everything they requested for me to change I've already changed it and I was so excited that this app was launching and putting all the finishing touches together i was testing a lot of things i was debugging i was testing on all other android devices and all other versions of android phones to see if things were working and when i finally launched the application on play store wow i felt really good so i went to twitter i ran to twitter i was like i built my first application you guys should download tell me what to think about it People were so supportive. People were like, so this is beautiful. And I didn't even know the magnitude of what I've, I did until about a year later when I checked like my Android console and I found out that over 10,000 people have downloaded this application. 10,000 plus even as of today. And it just showed me that people really found this thing useful. I was reading thousands and thousands of comments. The Android app got like 4.5 stars on Play Store. People were like, this was very helpful. My daughter loved this. I was able to teach my children how to speak Igbo with this application. The highlight of it was when a university abroad, University of Canada, Canada or California, they reached out to me and they were like, oh, this is very lovely. We've been using this to teach people um, Igbo in our language syllables. We've, been, we've imputed this app into our syllables to enable students to learn Igbo in a simple way. And it got me because this was something I was even being indifferent about pushing to Play Store. And this is it helping thousands and thousands of people. So this was a very, very um, lovely process for me. I think this was when I got confident that I'm an Android developer. This gave me confidence to even apply for jobs. It gave me confidence to look at things to talk about during my interviews. And I think this is one of the reasons I got into the tech space. Tech makes you a creator. Tech makes you very creative. You can think of something and bring it to life. So far you have the right skills and the right tool sets, right? So I think this is the end of the story. I don't know how this story went, but I hope it encourages somebody. I'm encouraging you as you're watching this video to try to build something, to collaborate with other people, to bring those witty ideas you have to life. There are several ways that you can build your project. You can start by building upon something that you've learned before. You can start by collaborating with people to make the process seem less hard. Because trust me, if you start learning something new, it's going to be very hard to put what you're learning into practice. Because you're going to be second guessing yourself. So this is your cue to start building. This is your cue to start drafting out the architecture of what you want to see come to life. And yeah, I'm so happy that I did this video. I hope you feel encouraged. I hope you've learned something from this video. And I hope you're going to go ahead to build amazing applications by yourself. Bye.